It's your girl, Nigga Halo. It's supposed to be like a rocking chair. It's not rocking. <gasps> um, child, anyways. <laughs> That's what I get. That is exactly what I get. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Nikayla and you are watching Royal Nikayla. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are already subscribed, thank you for subscribing down below. Welcome back to the family. If you are watching this video and you are not yet subscribed, Click the button down below and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. <laughs> also click the like button and hit that notification bell so you never miss a post of mine. As you can tell from the title of this video, this will be a kind of like first day back to campus after we were on a two week quarantine. So if you're watching this video and you don't know, Notre Dame came back to campus um, August 10th I believe the day was. And then after one week, we went online for two weeks. So today will be the first day back after those two weeks. I really have not been on campus except for once. Um, this whole like two week time. So it's gonna be like, you know, welcome back. <laughs> so come with me today to see like what the campus is looking like, you know? Let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is actually, like I said before, this is one of the first times I've been back on campus. I've only been on campus once to get surveillance testing. For anybody watching, surveillance testing is basically like a random testing, like they choose the person randomly. And every morning we have to fill out like a daily health check thing. And so if you um, always say like you're good every morning, like me, they'll call you in for surveillance testing just to see like, if you still have COVID and you might be asymptomatic. I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> I really don't know why I'm nervous. My first class starts at, my first class starts at one and it is now 12.45. So yeah, let's get going. Let's go to class. <laughs> okay. Oh, my first class is Intro to American Studies. So that's where I'm about to go right now. Yeah, yeah girl, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the football stadium, and um, they're supposed to still be like going on with the football this year, which should be interesting because I don't really know how it's gonna work. I personally, I don't know how it's gonna work like inside the stadium, but it's gonna be interesting to see how it works, and I like try to vlog that once it happens. But um, yeah. I think it is a word for this whole entire semester is going to be interesting like how people are going to like how the school is going about certain things that I've witnessed my three years of being here that are going to be like completely different this semester so it's just like it's mostly like a you know we'll see type of thing because I don't know the answer nobody knows the answer we don't really know like what's going on because you know. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like I was saying, I was kind of like <laughs> out of breath, so I don't even know if I'm gonna put that in there. But um, yeah, my phone died, and so I'm gonna go run back home and charge it because I have a couple meetings today. So yeah, you guys are gonna come with me home, but I'm also gonna stop at Starbucks because, you know, I've tried this new drink and it's so good. I'm gonna show you guys when I get it. <laughs> I'll be back on camera in like two seconds when I am at Starbucks. Bye. That right there is the architecture building and this is Legends, which is 
kind of like a club touch restaurant that people go to sometimes. Um, Hip hop night, salsa night, stuff like that happens there. That's Mendoza right there, and this is Deepak, the Debartolo Performing Arts Center. This is where theater happens. You know me, I'm a theater nerd, so I love this building. Right here is Jenkins Nanavik, and I also have a lot of classes here because I'm a political science major, so a lot of law classes and political science classes happen here. And this, the political science department is also in this building. But I said that I was going to Starbucks so I can get ready for my afternoon because like I said well maybe I don't remember if I said this earlier but because I have a class at because I have a meeting at four I have um, another meeting at five I'm gonna have a class at seven so you know we are booked and busy back to back today so I wanted to come to Starbucks you know to get a little something something um, and the line is so long I'm trying to decide like is it worth it should I stay should I go I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was really fun. Oh, you know, go to bars. Should I stay or should I go? Yeah, but like, I'm really booked and busy today. So I'm back home now. Just got faded. Aha! Uh -huh. I got my Starbucks. Let me show you guys what I got. So, I got the Southwest Veggie Wrap. I've never tried it before, so we're gonna see if it's good. And then, I got, also got this drink. I've had it once before, and it was iced. I wanted it iced, but the lady made a mistake, and I was just like, okay, let me try it hot. But this is oat milk honey latte with vanilla. It's so, it's so good. So this will be the first time trying it hot. So let's see. Mmm. I don't know. I think it's something about that oat milk. But this is really good. So oat milk honey latte with vanilla. It's really good. So you try it. You're welcome. Tell them that Nikayla sent you. You get a discount. <laughs> So I just got done with my first meeting of the day, which is at four, and I'm getting ready for the study abroad panel. I will show you guys a little bit once I'm on. But yeah, this is the day I'm in the life of Nikayla. Okay? The day in the life. But I am trying to get used to everything like being online. I don't even know why I'm talking into this like that, but I'm trying to get used to everything being online, you know, Zoom etiquette, how should we do this, how should we do that. One thing I do want to talk about is how, um, I really enjoy making videos like this, like day in the life at at school, day in the life at Notre Dame, because I always get a lot of questions about like being a black student at Notre Dame. How is it being black at Notre Dame? And I'm g gonna tell you the honest truth, it's not easy. But I do want to come out with a video that's just titled "Being Black at Notre Dame," where I just give give it all, tell all, give you the truth and everything about how it is being black at Notre Dame. So stay tuned for that. They probably have already talked to you about this. Is that people really uh, resonate when they hear about adversity that was? It's that ad is that yep. um, studying abroad in North Africa and like Middle Eastern countries is different because a lot of people don't do it. Like you mentioned earlier, like a lot of people go different places in Europe. So I think um, like maybe some more preparation and go and like letting people know like this is this is how it might be in middle in the middle east or northern, northern africa come back there's i feel like there's some type of like um i talked to i think samantha and laura about this before but there, there should be some type of like re-entry program because i know in morocco we had a re-entry orientation at the end of our program to try to see like if you're ready to like go back into america and we had a whole a whole entire like presentation about it and just regards of like this is how it might look different when you go back to america true for other parts of the world so you know broadening um your perspectives and you know kind of taking that 
um, leap of faith. And, and while there are challenges, I think- It's a great observation, thank you. Michaela, the last word is yours before I close this out. Yeah, <laughs> so my kind of moment of realization when I like got out of my head and like really started to enjoy Morocco had to be definitely on our excursion so that I had in Morocco because one, when, when I first left, my baby sister started crying because I was leaving for a week and that was like, that is so, that's so cute. And it, I feel like that like really made me feel like that was like my family. Hey YouTube, so I just finished my study abroad panel and I have class in about 10 minutes. So that's exciting. And um, it was really, it was really interesting just because we just talked, I just, ugh, I love talking about study abroad. Child. Anyway, that's what I get. That is exactly what I get. <laughs> a little bit and look at this uh, two dimension. So before the day is over, I want to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram. I'll have my social medias right here. Don't forget to spread love and positivity all around. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.